Hello and welcome to the Caymanus Park Highlight Show. In this week's edition, we'll recap the race card from Saturday the 6th of April. Eight races were scheduled on the card with the sixth race, the feature event, the Robert Claiming King Derby Senior Memorial Trophy. We begin with race one. This was a maiden condition race for native bred four-year-olds and up, going a distance of seven furlongs or 1,400 meters. Bad investment from the seven draw, fresh from a five-month layoff from competitive racing, sent off as an eight to five favorite in the betting. Came to fame is in, field in line, seven furlongs. They're off immediately, and game to fame, and Lambo girl the slowest to leave. They charge down the back stretch, sorting themselves out on the front end. And bad investment and atomic energy along with the blitz strike. These three go at it as they leave the six and atomic energy now takes that lead. Lambo girl rushing up to take second big strike in a handy spot in third. The favorite bad investment is in fourth, possibly five lengths off that lead, joined almost by Dimitri P as they leave the five. The gray roaring thunder further back, then game to fame. Smart player races next and at the back it is a security code as they are about to arrive at the half mile in the first event. Atomic Energy skittering along on that lead by a length and a nose tickling tail. Lambo Girl continues the chase from second. Bit Strike is now unleashed and asked to close that gap. Bad Investment also asked to make ground. Roaring Thunder picking up on the outside. Maybe three lengths separates that first clump as they're about to arrive at the 5.16. The gap opens to Dimitri P. Game to fame. Smart player and a long way last. It's a security code as the leaders come thundering into the top of the stretch in the first and Blitz Strike has now taken charge. Here's the favorite, Bad Investment now lengthening strides on the outside, and Bad Investment joins a Blitz Strike briefly. Bad Investment now points the nose in front, Blitz Strike fighting right back, and the race is on. Inside the final furlong, Blitz Strike now reclaims that lead, running past the final 16th. It is Blitz Strike out in front and being driven to the max to hold the advantage. Blitz Strike and a Ray and Lewis, action pack Ray and Lewis. They take the first by maybe three. Bad Investment second, Dimitri P in a photograph with Roaring Thunder. They finish third and fourth smart player may just be fifth over atomic energy but it's close blitz strike that gets a job done in race number one the champion jockey ray loose in the saturday for trainer marlon pusey and owner manly julius blitz strike proves that those last two efforts were quite encouraging and two to one on both occasions finishing fourth on two last outings and uh, gets a job done today finishing first at odds of five to two. Second went to bad investment, the exact return, 771. The quarter plus is a month, $784 in dividends here. And we had a dead heat for fifth, and as such, two high five pills. The 2023 champion jockey, Ryan Lewis, takes the day's first race with one of his signature rides aboard the Marlon Puser trained Blitz Strike. They completed the 1400 meters in one minute 34 and four fifths of a second. Race two on the card was another maiden condition race, this one for native bred three-year-olds and up. A field of eight set to face the starter over the six furlong course with debutant, solar black and unruly don breaking from gates four and six respectively. The rough and racing, that's a beautiful line right in the mix and going right to now that is a affair on the outside of affair that is unruly done so affair is just a leader from unruly done racing in a second right there against the rail that's imaya in the between horses that's oil machine and out wide that's rocola then comes the general coming down nicely into it First offense comes next and racing at the back of the field at Solar Black. They've left the four and head toward the three and it is unruly done on that lead. Right there too, that's a fair coming up on the inside. Stalking them from third, that is the general. Also coming on on the rail, that is Imaya. Out wide, that's first offense. Oil Machine is right in the mix too. They're at the top of the lane and it is unruly done with that lead affair trying to switch switches off the rail as unruly done switch down on the rail with that lead it's unruly done in front of a fair the general coming forward also coming forward nicely that's rocola it is the general it is making the runnings unruly done in front coming to the half a furlong pole unruly done looks to have this one all one still chasing in second that's a fair rocola running on for third but unruly done put paid to the field by about three lengths second affair then comes rocola and the oil machine back in fourth 
Already done, Yeah, gets a win first time of basket out of 72. Robert Halley right there for Trader Old Hayden. Good win by Unruly Don. A fair held second, exactly $844. So you get the favorite in second behind uh, a fair well fancy debutant and a good exact appeal there. Early double, 1,954. And that's indeed a good double payout as well. Race one was won by a 5 to 2. Well supported. Blitz strike. Live ticket count on the regular six stands at 685 with over 7 million in that net pool. The debutant on Rule It On gets the job done. The first time of asking, beating the three to five favorite affair by three and a half lengths and giving jockey Robert Halladine and trainer Oral Hayden their first win on the card. Saturday's third event was a maiden special weight contest for native bred three year olds and up. A field of eight set to go 1,000 meters round. Six-time champion jockey Omar Walker aboard the even money favorite, Global Machine. They're ready. They're off for the dash. Ruby's light came out awfully and has a lot of catching up to do. Smart trick took off fast on the rail, Lewis. It goes for that lead as they approach the half mile. Smart trick on the rail, bold move pulling alongside, the global machine stalking them in third. A break back to Bold Shadow, the Soul Warrior Grey racing on the inside of Bold Shadow. A huge gap opens up to Noble Sovereign and D-Bay Machine, and Ruby's Light not shining at all along way last. They leave the 5-16th about to come into the top of the lane. There's a battle roll up front and bold move in between runners just has it. Smart Trick will have to fight on down against the rail. And here's the favorite Global Machine now kicking in on the outside and a Global Machine and bold move match strides. Smart Trick is over against the rail. The Soul Warrior running on on the rail. Bold Shadow is there too, but three almost across the track as they leave the furlong pole and it is a bold move holding that lead. Global Machine continues to harass. Here is Smart Trick now kicking in on the rail. It is bold move and a global machine and Omar Walker, they bob heads to the line close. Might be a global machine over bold move, but it's close. Then smart trick, bold shadow, the soul warrior. Global Machine now gets a victory at race number three to start the Twilight Six, and that's six time champion jockey Omar Walker at his best. And he rode there for trainer Carlton Cunningham. So we have had back to back first time starters winning race number two. The winner was number six on Rui Don and race three. Among the number six comes in, a first time starter, Global Machine. A close second was bold move, a close third, smart trick. So the top three spots were held by the debutants. A showcase performance and a battle down to the wire by the three debutants who took the top spots. Global Machine finishing first ahead of bold move by a short head, while smart trick who ran third was just three quarters of a length behind. Race four was a restricted allowance event going seven furlongs, a field of nine set to go postward. Trainer Gary Sobratis, KD Strong, was the lone importee in the field, with jockey Omar Walker in the saddle, hoping to cap back-to-back -back wins. Ready for a start for Michael Sims, they're off right away. Mr. Senator and uh, Super Alex, those are the slowest ones as they head down the backstretch, heading towards the six, and it's Royal Ash narrowly in front of Ella Fortunado coming up on the rail. That is KD Strong right beside them on the outside. That's Life is Life, just behind Life is Life and on the rail. That is uh, She's My Hedge Fund coming around nicely. That is Super Alex after that bad break. Then comes a Savvy Girl behind them. That is Cookie Day and Night and Mr. Sen is racing at the back of the field. They head toward the four and it's Royal Ash on an off, off a length lead on the outside and coming down nicely still that Super Alex like this life is right there too. KD Strong watches them from fourth. Then comes Savvy Girl behind them coming on and recovering after that break too. That's Mr. Senator. Then comes uh, She's My Hedge Fund reversing overtaken by Cookie Day and Night and racing at the back of the field. Ella Fortunata but it is still Royal Ash in front and traveling well. It's Royal Ash. Here come on the outside. That's Super Alex also coming on. Mr. Senator after that bad break. He's really coming down the racetrack but it's Royal Ash. Keep on turning their back on the inside and coming on to that Cookie Day and Night. It's Royal Ash in front. Cookie Day and Night coming on the inside and still coming to that is a KD is strong, but it's Royal Ash still in front and hanging on to that lead. Here comes Cookie Day and Knight up the rail. Royal Hash, Cookie Day and Knight coming on the rail. Royal Hash and Cookie Day and Knight, they've gone by together. Then comes Mr. Senator KD is strong and uh, Super Alex back in fifth. 
A fill and finish there with the Grey Royal Ash holding on just by a nose. Oh, that outsider was telling you about Cookie Day Night, 26 to 1. Told you that that one had a big chance and ran a big race, but just lost by the smallest of margin. A nose, the margin of victory there for Royal Ash. A double on the day for Ray and Lewis. He's riding well, and he's, of course, the defending champion jockey. Good exact pair of 3,524 with the fancy Royal Ash over the outsider. Cookie Day at night. Quinella Plus is a must as well. 5,184 in dividends there. And we had Super Effect to pay out just under 20,000. High five, just over 20,000. So some good dividends there with the outsider coming in the mix there. Cookie Day at night. Tevin Foster and Ryan Lewis putting up a show for the punters with an exciting run in the final furlong. In the end, Royal Asher judged the winner via a photo finish showing just a nose in front of Cookie Day at night who had to set up a second spot. It's now time for a break on the Caymanis Highlight Show. When we return, we'll recap the remainder of the card. Welcome back to the Caymanis Highlight Show. In the second half of our presentation, we'll recap races 5 to 8 from the card on Saturday. The fifth race was an optional claiming event going five and a half furlongs, a modest field of eight, the clear to start with champion jockey Ryan Lewis searching for a third win on the card aboard the Lawrence Fremantle conditioned Magical Mood. Now they're off. First start. Donald Mighty gets a good one. Aphelios rushing up on the outside to challenge in between horses. That's True Bravado. And a True Bravado now goes on from Aphelios and the Good Life Racing Wildest of them all. Don Almighty fades back. Phenomenal one and Magical Mood now joining that one. Sniper Man races next as they leave the half mile marker. And behind Sniper Man, that's Duke of Springs trailing the field on the run in the bend toward the final three. True Bravado strides out and opens up some four lengths. Being chased all the while by Aphelius now asked to go on the rail. Phenomenal One has made phenomenal progress on the outside. The Good Life is backing out. Magical Mood races up next, but they're into the top of the lane. The one to catch is True Bravado trying to do it. That's the gray. Aphelius the favorite as they come thundering past the final three sixteenth. And now Aphelius grabs the lead and begins to sprint off. True Bravado in a battle for a minor place. Phenomenal one right alongside and now moving into second. Magical mood on the outside, but the great Aphelios continues to turn on under full power. Inside the final 16th, it is Aphelios coming away on the terrific Tevin Foster easing down in the end. They win by five or six. Phenomenal one second. Magical mood third. Sniper man fourth. Don Almighty is fifth. Nice win last uh, race for Aphelios, and that was Stephen Foster, leading rider in the saddle for Trader Linton Calder. And Aphelios justified the favoritism, winning by six lengths, and that was quite convincing. Phenomenal one, completely exact, exactly returned well, $1,595. The favorite on top of an outsider, Quinella Plus is a must, $2,274. Live ticket count on the Ray at six stands at 205 coming into the cash out leg, 7 million plus in that net pool. And we have 750 live tickets on the Twilight 6 with over 4.54 million in that net pool. It's time for race 6. A good ride by Tevin Foster to register his second win on the day, this time aboard the 4 to 5 favorite of Felius, who made light work of the competition, winning by 6 lengths and stopping the clock at 1 minute 10 seconds flat. Race number six was a day's feature event, the Robert Claiming King Derby Senior Memorial Trophy Race, an optional claiming event contested for three-year-olds and up. Run in honor of the late Robert Derby Senior, nicknamed the Claiming King for his gifted eye as a trainer at Caymanis Park. Over his illustrious career, he saddled 603 winners from 4,830 starts. Field in line for the Robert Claiming King Derby Senior Memorial Trophy. They're sent off right away as they make their way down the back stretch and head now toward the final six. Storm has blown quickly into that lead. Racing down against the rail, that's a Tigre Express Power just on the outside. These three in a tight cluster. Wayne's Princesses are further three lengths in behind them. Nakamura and uh, Catalina Mad Strides. A break of some three lengths back to Sir John. Colorado Ranger tucked in between horses. Turn on the light racing out wide. Lord of Agilon and Justin Biden race next. Then Secret Traveler and Fly Messenger Fly has no wings at the moment as they leave the half mile and make their way now toward the final three. 
Storm blowing strong on that lead. Leads up by some three lengths. Power continues the chase. A break back of four lengths to Tigre Express. Wins Princess asked to make ground with Catalina Nakamura under a ride. Has several lengths to catch those leaders along with a Colorado Ranger and Justin Biden. But the field have turned for home. They're at the top of the lane and Storm has that lead. Power has completely blown the turn and is on the extreme outside. Three sixteenths of a mile to run. Storm continues to lead over on the rail. Power running wide of them all hanging on for second up for long to catch storm and storm continues to lead from power in behind them justin biden wayne's princess and catalina asked to run on but storm inside the final 16th this is the robert claiming king derby senior memorial trophy they won't stop storm storm wins easily in the end by maybe five over justin biden then power catalina nakamura Convincing victory there for Storm. First time with the claim given Ray Lewis a hat trick of wins on the card, and he's riding very well. The defending champion jockey Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis stakes the day's feature event aboard the six to five favorite Storm, a nine year old gelding now running for his new connections and taking orders from the Peter Passard barn. Justin Biden was second, power third. Catalina and Nakaruma completed the top five spots. Race number seven was a restricted allowance event going 1,820 meters or nine furlongs on 25 yards, otherwise called the spectator's treat because the starting gates are placed right in front of the stands. A small field of eight declared to start with the six horse Sweet Victory, the hot favorite at seven to five. They're off and racing, a clean break. Sparkles rushing to on the outside, of right there too, that's Home Alone. Right against the fence, that's Simply Sensational Sky Rizzi, also in the mix. Just behind them on the rail, that's right in flight. Be always right, rather, always right. Then comes Princess Talisi, Sweet Victory, and uh, racing at the back of the field, that's Lion Charmer. They head toward the uh, seven for a long point, and it is Simply Sensational on that lead. Sky Rizzi tracking in second, then comes Sparkle, Always right, Princess Talisi recovering after that bad break. That is a uh, home alone and uh, coming on to that sweet victory and racing still at the back of the field as they pass the six. That is Lion Charmer. They head toward the uh, five and Sky Rizzi eking out about a neck lead from on the outside and coming down that spark was eking reverse a bit, but coming back for more though that's simply sensational. Then comes Always Right racing in fourth tracking them in fifth that is home alone then comes the princess talisi sweet victory and the lion charmer racing at the back as they pass the four furlong point heading toward the three and it is a sparkles on that lead about a length and a half in front of always right racing in second home alone hunting down going down for the hunt into third backing out a bit that sky resists princess talisi trying to come on sweet victory has to do more from here and also coming on too that is a lion charmer racing at the back of the field that's simply sensational there at the top of the lane and it is sparkles here comes home alone towards the outside home alone and sparkles sparkles just keeping on right against the rail here comes sweet victory gathering the ground on the inside in the middle that is princess talisi coming to the furlong pole it sparkles princess talisi and a sweet victory right behind them that's home alone and always right but sweet victory begins to get out of the grass with these They're coming on to that is princess talisi but sweet victory goes on for the victory sweet victory by about a length and a half or two from racing in second that is princess talisi then comes uh, always right and uh so sweet victory gets a victory there in race number seven tevin foster right in there for hard guy and with his racing stable convinced victory for sweet victory princess talisi Completes exact, a big exact apparently of 3,360. The equivalent plus is about 3,862. A double for Tevin Foster and a first on the card Saturday for trainer Howard Jagai with his much fancied four year old filly Sweet Victory, who is owed by Willis Racing Stables and bred by the Everglades Farm Limited. Saturday's eighth and final was a highly competitive restricted stakes event over five furlongs straight, a quick dash covering 1,000 meters, a field of nine reduced to eight with a scratch of the undefeated importee, she's a god gift from the seven draw. They're off and racing. Rejected Roger gets a flyer on the far side. 
switching across to the middle right there too that's a legit boss right in the middle that is strike smart over on the far side that huntsman there spread right across the track as they make their way coming out to the shoot to the three furlong point it is on the far side, that's Huntsman. Right in the middle, that's Kim. And dead center, that's Strike Smart. Also there, that's Box Box beginning to come on nicely as they make their way and come out to the shoot. They're coming to the two for a long point, And it is Box Box right there too. Princess Amali, also there, that's Rejected Raja. Legit bosses right there too. Also coming on the far side, that's Strike Smart. They're still wide open. Anybody's race. And they come to the furlong pole, it is Rejected Raja, just the leader, and begins to come away. It's rejected Raja, Princess Amali chasing in vain, but it's Prince, it's legit, it's rejected Raja, beginning to pull off Huntsman coming late. It's rejected Raja, beating Huntsman, then comes uh, Princess Amali, legit boss, and uh, maybe strike smart for the fifth. A mild upset to close Saturday's card. Robert Hardball Halladeen aboard the 5 to 1 bet, rejected Raja from the Robert Pearson camp in the WB Silks of 2018 Horse of the Year. Beating the likes here of Princess Amali in second, Huntsman who finished third, and the pair of Legit Boss and Strike Smart rounding off the final top five. This has been another edition of the Caymanus Park Highlight Show. See you next time.